Biologics manufacturing is going to play a huge role in the biotech industry in India. At Biocon, we've certainly invested a large amounts of capital into both insulin manufacturing as well as monoclonal antibody manufacturing, two critical areas which uh, you know occupy the global market space. Uh, we've been helped in this by several suppliers of key equipment having located their either their R&D or uh, servicing centers in India and this will augur well for other people who want to set up these kind of facilities. And again, we think that India will be a source for products globally in the biologic space. Uh, so far, most of the experience with uh, Indian companies has been developing products and uh, setting up manufacturing facilities to cater to the Indian and uh, emerging markets uh, of the world. Uh, the next step that we need to take is, of course, uh, addressing the uh, Western markets or the developed markets, uh, which are really the largest markets. And that's where you can make a big impact in terms of size of the business, in terms of the total investment, and really making India as a uh, you know, global player. To meet their growth potential, Indian corporates today need coordinated support from the government in establishing an ecosystem that enables entrepreneurship and innovation. A lot of Indian new companies and uh, new entrepreneurs are coming in this area. So it is not only in terms of the products, but it is also in terms of the number of companies, number of new incubators that are coming up will, and government's proactive role also will also contribute to the development of this industry. What we need to do is to support it with strong infrastructure, with very innovative policies that keep focusing on this sector and its specialized needs. Because ultimately it is a political will in any industry uh, which you know drives the growth of that industry. On its part, the government has set lofty targets for the industry to be among the top five producers of biopharmaceuticals in the world by 2020 and to have a 10% share of the global biosimilars market.